Hello, my name's Joe Johnson and I've been helping people with dental implant for over, well, for many years. Now, if you're specifically interested in the cost of dental implants, I want to now discuss something that you might not have taken into account. By all means, go along, you know, look in your local area, have a look what the different dentists are charging you, and then I would really recommend that you check out Find a way of checking out the satisfied clients or patients that they have got. Check out that the dentist, this isn't his, you know, he isn't practicing on you, but he's got a lot of experience of doing dental implants. Because you want to be comparing like for like. If you're going to go and price somebody at the top end or somebody at the bottom end, uh, somebody who is inexperienced may appear to be cheaper, but it might cost you more in the long run. And I know many people ex look at the cost of dental implants by looking at the prices abroad in different countries. Now you will find you can get dental implants done abroad a lot cheaper usually than where you are, almost always. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it and I'll tell you why. Here's a picture. The first time I had dental implants, this is what I looked like for almost a week. As you can see from that photograph, my whole face was swollen, my jaws were swollen, I could hardly see. I was in absolute agony because I had got something which is very common. It's a dental implant infection. Very common. So if you have your, if you're, whilst you're looking at the cost of dental implants, if you have it done abroad, how are you, go are you going to come home two or three day, days later, become infected, or even two or three weeks later, you can't go back to get it sorted. And it's about dental implant infection that I want to talk to you about now because I've helped over 30,000 people have prevented dental implant infection or I've stopped it once people have got it. See, this is what happens. If you've not had a dental implant procedure before, and I have, as you can see, I've got fantastic teeth all around, dental implants and they are amazing they are fantastic but the first time i had it it went wrong and since then i've made sure i never get infected again and that's what i want to share with you now when you go to the dentist this is what they'll do they'll suggest that you take two or three antibiotics before they even start on you the reason for that is because they know once they start cutting into your gums and cutting into your jawbone they are asking for trouble, asking for infection. So you take two or three grams even before the procedure starts. After that, once you've had the procedure, you know, you've got anaesthetic, that's all fine. Uh, you may have sedation, that's up to you. Never had it myself. You know, the, the operation doesn't, it's not that bad. But it's, when you get home, they, te they, they tell you to take antibiotics with you. Now, that's amoxicillin, very common. They ask you to take that for a week. Um, and they can also ask you to take metronidazole. That's also a very common antibiotic. So on top of the large dose of antibiotics, you will also be told to take further antibiotics. Again, because of the risk of infection, you'll also be told to swill around in your mouth with an antiseptic to keep killing the germs around the stitches because... <laughs> You're wide open to infection. That's why they tell you to use this stuff and use the antibiotics. They'll also encourage you to use these gels. It's a, an antibiotic gel. They, they're recommending everything to try to keep this stuff down. But the problem is this. For me, and for many others, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And if you get an infection, and believe me, I know, when the whole face and jaw is throbbing, you can't eat, you can't swallow. The e I mean, where is it? <clears throat> this is from my local dentist, <laughs> which he gave me the last time I went for dental implants. Avoid alcohol, avoid smoking. Avoid alcohol two weeks, avoid smoking for two weeks. Take loads of vitamin C before you go for two weeks. They tell you to fill your mouth with cotton buds. Uh, 
literally they're trying to you have to sign a load of things that you're not responsible for this you're not responsible for this you're not responsible for this because they know infection with a dental implant procedure is common so when I got infected, I, I did what the dentist said initially. It didn't work. After that, I relied on my own knowledge. And my own knowledge is this. There's a specific blend of natural antibiotics. It's in a liquid form. And you can just dab it on to your gums. Where the stitches are, just get, dab it on. And within a few hours, the infection will start to go down. With all, that's what it's called, gum doctor. Gum doctor. It's a blend of very powerful natural antibiotics. You just dab it on every couple of hours the first day. Just keep. I'll show you how simple it is to use. You can keep this. It's a small bottle. It'll last you a long time. It's a very thick liquid. I don't know if you can see that there on the camera. Very thick liquid. Put it on your gums. Now, I know. When I got a gum infection, I couldn't even touch my gums. And this was after a week. The stitches were ripping. Everything was going on. I put the gum doctor on. And within the same day, I knew I was getting better. And as I say, since then, I've helped over 30,000 people with dental implant infections. And if you want to check out that what I'm saying is true, Type in YouTube, Dental Implant Problems Secrets. Dental Implant Problem Secrets. You'll see, this was me a few years ago, exactly what it was like for me. And it works. The Gum Doctor Remedy, I would suggest that if you haven't had the procedure yet, then you get it before you have the procedure. Just have it ready. When you get home from the dentist, Follow, I'm not, I'm not, I'm saying to you, follow what your dentist says. By all means, follow what your dentist says. But make sure you put a couple of drops of this on three, four times a day. Keep it with you. A couple of drops onto your gums three, four times a day. By all means, massage it into the rest of your gums because it does stop receding gums and bleeding gums and spongy gums. But it kills the bacteria. And you don't want them bacteria breeding where your stitches are. Because if it gets into your jawbone, it's all kinds of pain. You don't want that. So that's the Gum Doctor Remedy. You can get Gum Doctor. It's very inexpensive from teethneedgums.com. Teethneedgums.com. The link is below this video. So when you're looking at the cost of dental implants, by all means, shop around. But by all means, protect yourself. Because look, I'm telling you, I've got a fantastic set of teeth now, haven't I? Look. They're amazing for a guy my age. These are dental implants. They are worth it. They really are. But I wouldn't have a dental implant fitted unless I had some of this stuff. That's me personally. Because it will protect my gums. It's natural, tastes fine, won't harm your immune system, unlike the toxic antibiotics will. But that's another story. So by all means, have a look around at the cost of dental implants. Choose a good dentist, somebody you can, who you know is, who you can trust, who you know that people have had their implants done there. You know, it's important to shop around. If you can save money, do so by all means. But protect yourself. Get the gum doctor. It's got a, if for any reason you're not satisfied with it, it's a 100% money back guarantee. We've been given that guarantee for over 20 years and it lasts as long as you wish. Protect your gums and good luck with your dental implants.